Truth or Fake a daily fact-checking segment. Uh, we're joined by Catalina Marchand de Abreu. In today's edition, fabricated magazine covers. They've been circulating on social media. They claim that Ukraine does not support Israel. Catalina, tell us more. Indeed, jean emile these fabricated magazine covers have been shared mostly by Russian language social media accounts and propaganda websites. Uh, let's begin with this first example that's been shared since October 19th, where this user publishes an alleged cover of the German satirical magazine called Titanic. Let's take a closer look at this uh, fake magazine cover dedicated to Halloween, where we see a group of people uh, trick-or-treating, mostly wearing the face, the mask of the face of the president of Ukraine and President uh, Vladimir Zelensky. Uh, and then we see another uh, trick-or-treater who's uh, dressed in the national Jewish uh, clothing. You could see his uh, Halloween basket is uh, filled with candy, uh, while those bearing the mask of uh, President Zelensky uh, carry empty trick-or-treat baskets. Uh, the text on uh, this uh, alleged magazine uh, translates to uh, this time there won't be enough sweets for everybody uh, as to say no aid money uh, left for Ukraine uh, from the West. This uh, magazine cover was obviously never published uh, on the German publication uh, called Thai. Uh, it's easy to check. You could always go uh, to their website. You could see all of their publications for the year 2023. And you can see that there's no cover photo of their monthly magazine that looks uh, like that one on the fake claims. And their latest recent publications from September, uh, October and November also do not feature, do not feature President Zelensky on them asking for aid money. Well, this is quite a dangerous thing because it's obviously very easy to get caught into that trap of believing it's real. But now there have been similar claims this time around featuring an alleged Turkish magazine uh, cover. Tell us more. That's right, John. I mean, here's the uh, photo shared on X targeting President Zelensky once again. And another Turkish satirical magazine uh, called Liman, allegedly also featuring Ukrainian President Zelensky. You could see him crossing his arms and uh, frowning in front of what appears uh, to be an Israel Hamas battlefield uh, as President Zelensky seems forgotten here in the back. And all the journalists' attention is, uh, are, is on this uh, battlefield. The text on this cover reads, uh, what is he ready to do to get your attention back, the attention of the media and the world in, on Ukraine? Uh, this is obviously not a real magazine uh, cover. In the top left uh, here we see a, a number. It's a, a number. It's called 1647, the publication number. Uh, we checked this uh, Lehman's issue, 1647, uh, where you could see it differs entirely from the picture that's shared in the fake claims where you see uh, two men walking down a street and we don't see uh, President Zelensky and this fake cover shared on X is also nowhere uh, to be found on their latest publications from 2023 on their website. And Lehman also went to Twitter to confirm that this was a completely fake uh, publication that they never make. It's quite interesting because this isn't the first time we've seen these fake uh, magazine covers spread by Russian propaganda, is it? That's right, jean I mean, fabricating uh, covers, uh, cover photos of well-known Western publications as well as Western uh, news is a widespread uh, practice employed by Russian disinformation warfare, especially to discredit Ukraine or President Zelensky. You will see this, this over and over again. This will not be uh, the last time. Here's another fake uh, magazine cover we saw earlier from Titanic, again, also featuring uh, President Zelensky. And it's not only targeting Lehman or a uh, Titanic, well, also saw, we see it over and over again, French satirical magazine Charlie Abdo, uh, who was targeted by these fake news covers shared by Russian propaganda at least six times in the year 2022. Uh, you can imagine there's been many more since 2022. And we should also add that these fake magazine covers that, like we just saw, are giving a completely misleading information uh, since both the Ukrainian president uh, Zelensky and the Ukrainian Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, both went to Twitter to express their full support for Israel and the right to defend itself since uh, the horrific attacks of October 7th. Catalina, thanks so much for shedding a light on that. That's Catalina with The Truth or Fake and Karis Garland with The Business. And that's all from us here uh, for this evening's edition of France 24. But there is more coming up in just a few minutes' time. We'll see you then.